How's it going everyone? Virtually Chris here. Welcome back to another Open Pilot video. In today's video, a lot of exciting stuff happened. Uh, first of all, the car harness got announced and released since my last video. That's this little piece of tech on the windshield here. And what the car harness is, is it's a replacement for the panda and giraffe. So, you just buy a car harness for your supported car, and buy an Eon, and then you're all set to be up and running. Uh, so, the nice thing with that is I have my rearview mirror back. I also have the stock camera cover back installed on my Civic. So, both of those things are really nice, and it also automatically will resume to stock uh, features if I ever unplug the Eon or the Panda or anything like that. Uh, and at the same time, it will also go back to stock if I flip that in the settings over there. Uh, so, now there's a new settings toggle to turn on stock features. For example, if your mom came back into the car or anything, you can revert the car to stock while still leaving the Eon installed. There have been several improvements since my last video as well in terms of the driving model as well as the driver monitoring model. Uh, so the driver model is uh, what drives the car and it does a lot better in my opinion going through uh, things like intersections. It seems to just know where it's going through intersections and it also does a lot better on roads with no lane markings as well. So some of that laneless model is starting to kind of show up uh, with this, these newer releases of Open Pilot, which is really exciting news. Uh, so yeah, like going through an intersection, there's like no wobble at all, it just goes right through the center of them, which is really nice. Uh, it used to have a little bit of an issue going through some intersections around here, uh, but yeah, it seems really confident now, even an intersection like this, where as you can see there's no lane lines for quite a bit, no problem at all. There's now official support for the Subaru cars as well on the Kama website, so you can actually buy a car harness for a Subaru and get that installed in your vehicle and be up and running with open pilots. So anyone who has a Subaru with EyeSight, you're now able to be supported very easily. Or you might already be supported, so definitely be sure to check that out. Uh, also in the new release of open pilot, uh, we also have uh, Volkswagen support. Uh, so if anyone has a Volkswagen car as well, uh, with as lane keep assist and uh, radar adaptive cruise control, you may now be supported, which is great. We're going to go ahead and get on a highway here so I can show off some of these open pilot features and how, where the Honda shines the best is on the highway. Uh, if you have a Toyota or any car with more torque you can of course really engage open pilot anywhere and it works pretty well. But for Hondas we're kind of limited to using them on the highway or local roads that don't have that much curvature. Alright, we're on the highway here. I'm going to go ahead and engage and set us to like 75 as the top speed. And yeah, well, let's just let Open Pilot give us a chill drive here. Something to note is since Open Pilot 0.6.4, Open Pilot is a lot better at handling banked roads, so roads where they're not, you know, exactly straight with the ground. That is especially important for us in the northeast because all of our roads kind of have this. Uh, road chamfer on them to let you know snow and ice uh, go off the road but now with open pilot it still stays dead center in the lane even in these conditions something also really important with these new versions of open pilot is they just seem more confident in general uh, so there's really less of that ping-ponging effect happening on my Civic, and it seems like across the board, uh, just these new models are much more confident than the old ones. Uh, so Open Pilot is very confident in everything it's doing, which makes me feel more confident using the system more. This is a very typical drive with Open Pilot. I'm here on Highway 89 in Vermont, uh, heading north, and uh, it's just really great to be able to enjoy the scenery more and pay more attention to your surroundings rather than focus on the task of driving so heavily. Obviously I'm always paying attention, uh, but the only thing I really need to be doing on this drive is changing lanes when I feel like it's appropriate. And other than that, I'm letting Open Pilot do the heavy lifting of driving on this highway. It's definitely hard to convey how life-changing a system like this is, especially for people who have long daily commutes. I can imagine this being a total game changer for those people. It really is for me, and I only use my car for long road trips once every few months. Uh, you know, maybe to go back to Maine to visit my parents or do things like that. 
uh, which is about a four hour drive. And in that drive, I'm probably driving less than 10% of the time, uh, definitely on all the highways. I'm not really driving at all. I'm just enjoying the scenery and paying attention, but overall just having a great time letting Open Pilot do what it does best. Open Pilot now works with 62 makes of cars from 15 different car brands. So really, if anyone has a car out there with uh, lane keep assist and radar adaptive cruise control, go ahead and check out the Open Pilot GitHub page and see if your car is supported. And the setup is easier than ever with the new car harness. Uh, it really did only take me like five minutes to get it all up and running with this. And uh, I do have preserved stock functionality, so my car still has auto emergency braking and all that. Uh, so really there's no reason to not have open pilot in your car if you're supported. It makes a huge difference and it's just really amazing. So yeah, go check out the new install video that Kama did, it's really really nice. And stay tuned on Virtually Chris, we're going to be having more open pilot videos in the future. And if you want to see the full drive uh, without being sped up, I'm going to have the link in the video description for you all. See you in the next video, bye!